Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Sanjana Chaudhary with the top news of the day. All transport, including passenger bus, train, launch, will have to carry half the passengers. All types of shops will be closed by 8 p.m. Health Minister Zahid Malik said that instructions would be issued soon to implement the decision. He said this while distributing winter clothes at Maninganj on Saturday afternoon. He said the number of corona cases in the country has increased alarmingly, which is 400 times more than before. Meanwhile, the National Technical Advisory Committee on COVID-19 has made a number of recommendations, including ensuring vaccination against corona. In Naranganj, the campaign of the candidates is frozen ahead of the city corporation election. Former Mayor Dr. Selena Hayat Ivy and independent candidate Taimur Alam Khandakar, two prominent candidates in the January 18 election, are running door to door making various promises to garner support from voters. On Saturday morning, Ivy, a candidate of Noka symbol, made a public connection in the Charapara area of the port of Ward No. 24. On the other hand, Taimur has made public contact in Jalkuri area of 9th Ward. He has alleged breach of code of conduct against Noka candidate. However, Salina Hayat Ivy says the allegation is baseless. Most political parties have boycotted the President's dialogue. PNP Secretary General Mirza Fokul Islam Alungir has said that the Election Commission will not be able to do anything without a neutral government. He was speaking at a rally in front of the National Press Club on Saturday morning, saying that the people now demand the release of Khalid Azia. The government must accept this demand. Mirza Fokul also warned that if the demands are not met, the ruling party will have to suffer the same fate as the previous governments for denying the people's demands. BNP Standing Committee members Gayeshwar Chandra Roy and Salim Rahman, President of Citizens Unity, Mahmoud Rahman Manna, President of Kalyan Party. Said. Additional engineer A.K.M. Munir Hussain Pathan, President of Roads and Highways Engineers Association, said that the Ministry of Road Transport is working sincerely for the development of the country's infrastructure and professional standards of engineers. He said this while addressing the 31st Annual General Meeting of Roads and Highways Engineers Association at the Auditorium of Roads and Highways Department at Tejgao in the capital. Engineer Amit Kumar Chakrabor, the General Secretary of the Association, said that the capacity of engineers has increased. Earlier in the morning, Secretary of Road Transport and Highways Department, Muhammad Nazrul Islam, inaugurated the program. Speaking on the occasion, Nafiz Imtiaz Alam, head of the plant of Boshantara Bitumin Plant, said Boshantara Group is making significant contributions in building long-lasting road communication systems in the country. That is all the news for today. Thank you for watching News 24. Please stay with us.